Well, we're back, and I gotta say, I'm just on a roll. Um, I did this with zero intention. It's just funny, the universe. And I didn't even know the cigar had a Brazilian wrapper. It's the Lenox. Um, pretty sure I reviewed this. I think so. I've had it a few times. I mean, more than once. Less than ten. Maybe around five times since it's been out. It's been out for a long time. I mean, whew, I can remember 2000, was it 17 or 18 when I had this last time? And I was at a shop in Huntington, New York, Long Island. And um, a kind of acquaintance from a club uh, where they're hanging out, and he bought me one of these. I enjoyed it. It was a long time ago, though. This is the 5x40, basically an Ozempic um, Robusto. Brazilian toothy, heavy, thick looking, veiny wrapper. Uh, Mexican San Andreas binder, and the rest of it is Dominican Beloto Cubano and Allure, and the filler from their farms, LFD. So, and these sometimes can be kind of hard to find. You know, this is definitely not the baseline. When you get to the more special boxes of LFD, you've got the Lenox, La Volcada, obviously the Bull, the 25th, and then you got the LGs. Um, so it is what it is. And then you have the Capitolo 1 and 2. But, uh, and then you obviously you have the new one, the, oof, the Sol Solstice. Solstice? Is it Solstice? Solar? No, which one was it? I'll look it up. Anyways, I'm fucking shit up tonight. Yeah, I'm hoping to have a good experience. That uh, that David of uh, Escuro, which is an Ecuadorian wrapper, but uh, it had some Brazilian in the wrapper. I'm sorry, in the binder and filler. But uh, it didn't overall had some elements, but it didn't feel like a, like a Brazilian cigar. It had some elements of the Brazilian, but it was kind of a unique dark Ecuadorian cigar. Here though, the, the Brazilian is in the wrapper position. But we have a real contricting uh, with all the Dominican and the filler and in between Mexican and San Andreas. So how the hell is this going to pull off in this size? And uh, that might be a perfect size to try a cigar. And just, just get the perfect ratio uh, and dimensions for that smoke. You taste the smoke, not the tobacco. And that smoke has to go through the portal, which is a cigar shape. And the gauge is the portal. And the less room the smoke has, the more condensed that smoke is. And the stronger it's going to appear, the less roll. It's a medium full around the bat. It's got some nice, nice chocolate notes, but it's not a very thick, heavy chocolate note. It almost feels a little, a little watered down, but not like super watered. The chocolate note's a little thin, if that makes any sense. But it's not in a bad way. I mean, well, I, I prefer it a little. You get what I'm trying to say, though. Picture you who versus um, Nesquik. You know, but anyways, though, it's got that. It's got a good amount of black pepper spice. Nice sweetness, though, like a pungently funky sweetness. Oh, it's Brazilian shit. Um, enjoyable, though. Nice size. Yeah, there's a pungentness to it. I can't stress it enough. Brazilian tobacco, and this one's in the in the wrapper. This one's even is the Lenox here is more funky than the Escurio. Even the Escurio had more Brazilian tobacco, but it wasn't in the wrapper position. This one feels like a true Brazilian type cigar, being that it's in the wrapper position, which surrounds everything. I can't stress that enough. Good amount of spice, <clears throat> slightly earthy. Um, it is not within the LFD lineup, it's funny though. Perception, it is not a strong LFD. I mean, it's just not a weak cigar by any means. Um, but LFD is known for some heavier hitters, like the uh, Airbenders and the um, uh, the Harrow and Double Harrows, Natural and Maduros. Um, and uh, yeah. This cigar came in, I think, 
I forget, in this size, was it like nine bucks? It's quite reasonable for a really nice cigar in this size. Um, if you go for a full size, it might cost you upwards of $14, you know, depending where you're at. And if you have a lot more taxes, maybe higher. Um, it, it's, it's definitely a unique experience. The overall blend is, is very unique with the Mexican San Andreas and then the uh, strong Dominican Peloto Cabano in there with the Allure. Um, finish is quite long and heavy off the bat. And on the finish, though, it has this unique, pungently funky, like spice that's tingling on the tongue. So the flavor's moving around. It's just the slightest bit of a little bit of charred wood, too. Um, overall, a nice blend. Overall, um, I think anyone could probably enjoy this. Um, it's not, with Brazilian cigars, it's not something I want to smoke on the regular, although apparently this past week, Brazil is buying off Richie. I don't know how the last three cigars I picked out had, uh, it's it just mind-blowing, like mind-blowing. How? That has never happened before in my life where I accidentally bought three cigars and all of them have Brazilian tobacco in it, and it's just like, fuck. In a way, it's good comparisons. Um, good comparisons. That smoke is picking up a little stronger. That charred wood's getting a little stronger. That black pepper spice is getting a little stronger. The cigar's kind of funky, too. It's got a strange complexity to it, but you kind of expect that. And that swampy, sour, funky, sweet tang. Oof, oof. It's like uh, pungent. This is even more pungent than the Oscuro. This girl was smoother though, it is a higher tier cigar. It's the David Offering, it's a smaller cigar than this. Um, coming at a higher price point. Um, this is longer, but this is coming very skinny at 40 gauge. I'm gonna come back, um, but really quite enjoyable. And I think within the LFD lineup, if you like LFD, or if you don't like LFD, it's giving you something unique. So if you don't normally like double Laharos, Laharos, or don't want to spend $25 for the Andalusian bowl. Um, maybe Lenox and this little 5x40 might be something different, you know? But, um, you know, but then there maybe there are guys that just don't prefer a Brazilian Maduro. So then, hey, it is what it is. Well, great construction. The wrapper's unraveling a little bit from when, when I, uh, I don't have my cutter on me, so when I bit the cap before to light this thing up. Um, I kind of, uh, really could have used a, I really could have used a cutter on this one. And, uh, that's not on the cigar. No point so for that. Uh, but the cigar is burning great. Kind of a long, heavy finish on this. Nice charred wood, nice amount of chocolate. And the chocolate, though, is a little on the thinner side, but, uh, nice overall. Very smoky vibe. Um, nice amount of black pepper and all the tingling spice going on. It's more of like a heavy medium full in this size. It's definitely coming in, I think, you know, stronger than the uh, David of Oscuro. Probably a little darker at this point. It's probably 75% darkness and maybe a little more. But not exactly. It's on the darker side. It's definitely a, a, a heavier, stronger cigar than that. And, ooh, right there, the finish is the, about to really think into the last third of this. Mmm. Yeah, that black pepper is really getting intense now. right there red pepper too so all in all in the end we're getting a nice spicy ending to this cigar with nice complexities with a semi you know chocolatey type you know, vibe charred wood funky plungingness a little sourness going on 
it's it's kind of a little bit of a uh, unique slightly odd but it's not off-putting um it's not to me as as really really crazy or weird like a amazon basin type of cigar but for guys that just like classic maduros i'm not sure if they would like this though because it, 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 it's definitely going outside the lines with classic maduros you're getting chocolate earth and black pepper and that kind of party this has got uh, other stuff going on. You might like that. You might not like that. Or it might not matter. It's definitely worth smoking. The Lenox in this size. Solid 4.5. The blend is kind of complex. Um, but how all the flavor works together is definitely not as harmonious as the table of Escuro. And the clarity of the notes. The Escuro had a more pure vibe. But this is... More of a, you know, mid-tier, up mid-tier. Oh, it's the Solus. LFD Solus. That was the name. But if you were just going to compare this to the Escuro and say, which one's darker and stronger? Oh, well, that is the Lenox. So I'm glad this week we got to review some Brazilian or the cigars with Brazilian tobacco. We had the Macanoo Inspirado, which was really good, affordable, kind of a slightly dirty cigar, but it was enjoyable, funky. Um, um, in Gordo, and then we did the this girl in that little short size and this one went in a you know boost of length but in a 40 gauge so I was getting sweeter but almost like a syrup you know too this last third is quite interesting so I would recommend it I'm not saying box worthy but maybe check out uh, one or two of these short uh, uh, skinny gauge you know 5 by 40 just be careful cutting this. Uh, like I said, I kind of butchered that biting the cap. Oh, yeah, it is getting, yeah, it's full strength right there. Wow. We got an explosion here in the last third. Wow, so really getting heavy. Really about 80% darkness. Wow. Lost the wall, long heavy finish. The charred wood is really picking up. I feel like uh, it's like a horse race. And now the charred wood's coming in. Oh, the black pepper and the red pepper is getting more exciting. Look at that. And around the bend, we got more funkiness, punchiness. They could go all the way up your ass. We're done here. I would say definitely check out the Lenox in uh, this little 5x40. Kind of unique. And it builds up on you. And uh, definitely. By the middle of it, it starts getting pretty strong, and then by the end of it, kind of goes uh, almost full AJ. But that's in this size. Um, watch out, Pete Diddy. Pete Diddy's, uh, yeah, he's not going to make it. It is what it is. Can't stop, won't stop. Federal trafficking. He had a thousand bottles of lube. A thousand bottles of lube. Is that going to be entered into evidence? Uh, it was entered into someone's anus. Here's what it is. Stay fresh.